Hey there folks, welcome to the photo video show where we explore all things DSLR. I'm your host Mark Puckett. On today's show, we want to do some i5 Wi-Fi magic. And the reason we want to do this is because sometimes we're out in the field. We don't have all of our computer gear and equipment and, you know, when you're taking a bunch of pictures and all you have to determine whether or not those pictures are any good or not is your little bitty three inch screen. Yeah, that's what she said. But if that's all you have, it's really hard to see if you've got your subject in focus, whether or not uh, things are on the up and up, no smudges on the lenses, things and suches and whatnots, and you just need something a little bit bigger so that you can tell if you've got it right or not. Well, kids, there is a better way. We want to use a iFi card. It essentially creates a on-the-fly iFi Wi-Fi network that you can connect to anywhere you are and see the photographs that you've taken on a much bigger handheld device or a tablet PC. So let's check that out, see exactly how this thing works and how it's going to improve your lives for the better in the long run. Awesome. So let's get started. Okay, so let me start off by first saying if you buy an iFi card, you're probably going to spend anywhere from about 50 to 100 bucks. I happen to go with the Pro so that I can have as many options as possible because I like options. In this case, I use the Witch Bitch first because she agrees with everything that I say and I like that. I like when stuff goes my way. So I've got her all framed up here. I'm going to take a picture of her and just to show you that there, I have, there are no wires, there's no tricky business going on. I have the iPad on the table. As you can see, there's nothing connected either at the headphone port or the bottom, and there's no pictures of the witch bitch yet on the iPad. She's got her all framed up. I'm going to shoot a picture of her, and that works. So we've got a picture. Let's go back on over here and put out. We're in direct mode, which is awesome. And now comes the witch bitch picture, and it's that easy. And there are plenty of instructions all over the internet that can show you how to actually get your iFi card connected up to your iPad and your iPhone and your Android devices, but this is all a very simple process. And that's the point, you want it to be simple. So now that we've got the witch bitch picture, you can actually see out in the field if you are zoomed in correctly, if you are in focus correctly on whatever it is that you wanted to be in focus on, and that's the point. So no more three inch screens, you can see exactly what you've done, what you've taken a picture of, and whether it's even worth taking home to edit or not. So let's take the camera, I want to take another picture. I've got a piece of jewelry here again that my girlfriend made, I'm going to frame this thing up. Pow! Took that shot, let's head on over back to the iPad. And let's see if it's coming through or not. And as you can see, we're back in direct mode and there's the shot. It's that easy, it's that simple. And that's what we want. We're looking for simplicity and awesomeness. So now I've got the camera in a completely different room. The next room over. I'm gonna take a picture of one of my skulls that are on my altar of death. I took that picture. Let's head on back into the dining area where the iPad is currently located. And let's see if this works out for me. I will say this, sometimes it does work a little bit slow. And I don't necessarily know if that's my fault or the software's fault. But at any rate, in about two minutes, it eventually decided to come through and there it is. It's finally making its way onto the iPad. And that's all we really care about. We just want a system enabled so that we can take our pictures and it be on a much larger screen so that we can determine whether what we've done, what we've spent time on is actually working. So as you can see, we've got our necklace, we've got our skull, and we have our witch bitch, all perfectly safe right here on the iPad, ready for editing or sharing on the interwebs. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more test. Um, I'm currently outside in the backyard. Um, I want to show you that it can be done outside as well. You don't even have to be anywhere near your computer or your electronical devices or anything like that. So here's what I got. 
Got the iPad sitting here on this chair. Okay, got it in direct mode in the iFi app. Got my camera over here. Got it set up to take a picture of these leaves that are growing here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit one shot. Okay, got the shot taken. Let's come back over here to the iPad. I'm just gonna sit down here with it. But essentially what the deal is, is that it can take a little bit of time to uh, finally show up. But the good part about it is, is that it will show up. There it goes. So the picture's are already coming through. And the camera's way the heck over there. But as you can see right there, there's the picture of the leaves that I just took. No wires required, no hassle, no muss, no fuss. And that's how awesome this is. So in my personal opinion, the iFi card actually works relatively well. It's probably some of the better technology that I've ever seen, especially considering that in that little card you have an entire Wi-Fi network that's at our disposal. I can go anywhere in the middle of the woods, in the middle of a rainforest, or just out here in the middle of the park, and I can take my pictures and display them on my iPad, and I have a genuine, real opportunity to review those photographs in real time and see if I've actually taken a good shot. And that is worth everything, because time is money, and money is time. So there you go, folks. I hope you found all this information useful and handy. Please put it to good use. Comment, rate, and subscribe on this video, because it helps give me a funny feeling deep down inside of me. And all that good stuff. Yeah, don't do that. But find us on Facebook, Twitter. Be our friend and be our pals. Also, I started something new. Um, I started doing auto, uh, auto, no, I didn't mean to say that, audio updates on a new iPhone app. It's called blip.me. I'm going to put the link right here. Find me on there, photo video show, and maybe we can have some chats together on a regular basis if that's cool by you. So anyway, thanks for stopping by here at the photo video show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. We'll see you guys again next time you crazy kids.